this one lady was like, no offense lady, but he has a nice mustache. And I always say, you're right. <laughs> but it's a whole beard. <laughs> What's up, everybody? I'm King. I'm Angela. We're here to discuss and talk about comments from you, the audience. We love getting your comments and questions. Some of them are so insightful and profound, and some of them are just whack. It's like a prize <laughs> box. Like, you open a treasure box, a you treasure. don't know what it's to get. It's a box of and, chocolates. <laughs> um, yes, it is. You never know what you're going to get. I'm going to ask King one that I screenshotted. This is a great one. Um, ladies, this young man seems like a catch, so... Look him up on YouTube or Instagram or something. <laughs> His name is Christian Emerson and he says, it is so refreshing to see how much chemistry you guys have in your relationship. With that said, I have a question. What can you do as a man to start preparing yourself for the relationship you desire in the future? And during the preparation stage, should you continue to date or should you go all in on focusing on becoming a better you? I really appreciate you Kristen I really do think you're a really really solid dude and you're mm -hmm. gonna make a woman very very happy one day yeah just the fact that you're asking this question yeah. is very mature uh, and we love your engagement too but to your question being able to up your men circle I feel I feel that as men we tend to huddle around people that have um, probably the greatest influence on us um, during those times while we're on our journey to finding our person who you bring into your circle and uh, the people that you choose to have as, uh, I would say mentors and people that you look up to as far as relationship wise, that is huge. I think men and women both kind of come into their own little circles and they have that feedback of people to say, oh, this person isn't this or this person isn't that. And um, so I think that's one area. Another is as a man, I think um, you can never have um, too many leadership skills. I would say being able mm -hmm. to work on your leadership skills because That's a relationship a is something that you lead. Mm -hmm. um, there are a lot of things that people um, tend to slip on, things that people tend to not want to take charge of. I think a lot of men love being the man until it's really time to be the man. It, it is a challenging state, not impossible, but um, definitely increasing that. I would say also really examine your previous relationships in the areas that um, we or even at fault at prior to um, the relationship terminating. Like, what is it that brought you to that stage of um, terminating that relationship and being able to look in the mirror and own your previous mistakes or mishaps and working on those? Uh, those would be my top three. I'll take the second part of the question. He says, during the preparation stage, should you continue to date or should you go all in on focusing on being a better you? Definitely the latter. Um, I agree. Focusing on going all in on you is going to make you so much better prepared for your relationship. And it's not that you are not um, open to meeting someone while you're in the processes, a process of becoming a better you. For example, if you go to some sort of financial workshop to get yourself more financially in shape and you meet somebody there, like get their number. Or if you start going to the gym because you know that you need to kind of up your level of fitness and you want to mm -hmm. evolve in that way, you might meet somebody at the gym and if, yeah, ask them out to coffee, but it doesn't mean that you shut yourself off from opportunities that come while you're on the path of self-improvement, but it just means that you stop focusing on it. You're not on dating sites. You're mm -hmm. not trying to meet people, that sort of thing. You're just focusing on yourself and the right person is going to come to you when you're in that energy of self-improvement you're going to attract much higher quality women in that stage and even six months from where you are now you're going to attract a higher quality of, of woman by being on the path of, of growth you're going to grow in six months and your preferences are going to change and who's attracted to you is going to change and it's right. going to be up another level mm -hmm. so i would say go all in on yourself and just see who you meet along the journey you cannot defeat the law of attraction another mm -hmm. thing ladies um, Christian made a comment earlier, so if you're this person, he's not your guy. Christian said that some of some people that want someone with six figure or above income are the very ones that are working at Chipotle, but they want this way up here, so you're not his person, just saying. Need not apply. <laughs> Next question comes from Waka Lark. A random how we met search led me to your channel. Your love story is inspirational. What advice would you give a single person, highly conscious and principled, trying to navigate modern day? Ooh, good question. Well, I can relate to that because I would say I'm highly principled and conscious and I had to navigate my modern dating. I would say don't lower your standards. Like you're gonna need somebody. 
there's not a lot of people out there that are principle centered and highly conscious. So don't compromise what you really want. If you want some deep connection, someone else who's conscious, someone else who's principle oriented, that's perfect. Don't lower your standards. Just be willing to wait for that person to come along. As far as how to date, don't do the cliche things like go to a movie. Like you're not gonna <laughs> create a more conscious and principle centered relationship doing those traditional things. I would say like do things that more line up with who you are. If you like a walk in nature or if you like, you know, going to something educational because that lines up with your values, then like invite a woman into your space on that. Or I don't know if the question is for man or woman, but yeah, stay in line with who you are and let somebody come into that space with you. Don't compromise. I like that. I would also say being highly principled, um, those people like us, um, we tend to be a little rigid sometimes. So I would say relax, chill out a little bit, have fun but don't compromise. Like just don't be too serious about it. Approach it with the, I think approach it with the mindset that, hey, someone's out there for me. I'm gonna have um, fun in the process. Like I would approach this and be able to have a fun experience, tell some fun stories. The more that I'm involved, the closer I am with getting to my person. Okay, one for you. How do you know if someone or even you are ready for a new relationship? My partner of 10 years passed away about a year ago. Some days I feel like I could date again. However, there are still some times I get deeply emotional and I don't want to overwhelm someone new with the processing and continued introspection that comes from losing a significant other. Perhaps I'm asking your thoughts on what being ready to be in a relationship looks like and sounds like. Oh, that's deep. Uh, mm -hmm. Great my question. condolences, that really, um, that's, that's deeply mm -hmm. emotional that I feel your pain. Um, I think that can be a very challenging area. What I feel leads you to wanting to date or know that it's time to date is when you experience these very rich, um, happy, significant moments and you want to share it with someone that you love the most. I've mentioned prior to meeting this woman that I, I go to wonderful places, beautiful places, beautiful things happen and a little piece of me dies internally, right? Because I want someone significant to share that with. and. Uh, I believe that may be um, true for you. So when you experience those things and you know that, oh gosh, I want a significant person to share all of these beautiful and not so beautiful moments with, um, mm -hmm. someone to be by your side in an unconditional manner. And I would also say that it's certainly challenging. I think that this process, if you're not careful, can be rushed. And I would advise you to not rush the process um, because Healing takes time. Mm -hmm. And um, again, my thoughts and uh, best wishes towards you. I, I wanna congratulate you for having the courage to pose the question and the courage to desire mm -hmm. to move forward. I think another thing too, with, like we believe that you can heal in a relationship. That's right for you. For sure. So having the type of transparency that you can tell someone really early on, like, hey, I, I really wanna get to know you. I think I'm ready for a relationship, but you know, I, I lost this person and sometimes it's still hard for me. Just put it out there. And if that person is vulnerable in return and transparent in return, they may actually w want to feel that with you and stand with you. And maybe they've gone through a loss too. Maybe it's not been a physical death, mm -hmm. but maybe they lost a relationship they didn't want to lose. And that feels like a death too. Mm -hmm. And they can relate to you and you can both together be there for each other when you're feeling sad or when memories come up and they're not going to be threatened by those memories. Yeah, so but actually thing. someone who's like, open enough and that you trust enough to help you work through those times when you're still grieving. Yeah, for sure. Okay, it can be beautiful, for sure. Mm -hmm. Okay, next one is from Stories Behind the Eye. Your videos and chemistry together are great, so thanks for sharing. Can you talk about when you both began to manifest what you wanted and how long it actually took for it to become real? Great question. I love this question because I thought I was manifesting someone for a couple years and it wasn't until, this is in our video, How We Met, and it wasn't until I wrote a manifesto and completely blocked off a couple people that still had some level of access to me. Like I wrote, I kind of did that in faith um, to say like, no, I am, I'm actually really, really ready. And I did other little things like I started to pray for him before I even met him, just that he would be blessed, that he would find peace, that he would keep growing, that he would find me, that sort of thing. And this might sound cheesy, but at night, I would actually feel him laying beside me 
and like reach out and hold his hand. Even though I didn't know what he would look like or anything like that, I just like, to me, I was already in the energy of being with him and feeling what it was like to be with him energetically before he appeared in my life. And when I did those things, it was probably only about six weeks until he actually appeared in my life. Even though it was, there was a couple years before where I was striving to manifest him into my life, I hadn't actually done those final like digging deep acts of mm -hmm. faith cut things off will no longer tolerate this that and willing to change this and that when i wrote that manifesto and then started to do those things in faith it was about six weeks it's beautiful because the first time that i talked with her i actually went on a, a walk with her and i asked her to hold my hand while, <laughs> yeah, we, you did. while we went on a walk virtually so. i was actually not very serious about my list i had an extra long list it's in one of our videos called um, are your standards too high but I had this list of qualities that I wanted in my future wife. And I would look at the list, I would get busy with you know, life, professional, children, family, et cetera. And I would focus on my list like, kind of whenever I had time. If I didn't have time, I didn't focus on the list. But then after I um, took this birthday trip on last year, uh, af shortly after that trip, I began to really put it in God's hands. I realized that I was not giving it the energy or attention that it needed. And I said, God, this is what I want. You know what I'm looking for in a woman and in a future wife, and I'm leaving it up to you. And I took my list and I just discarded it. And after I did that and I put all of my faith in God for her, it really took um, about 45 days. Yeah. Okay, the next comment I did not screenshot, but this one lady was like, no offense lady, but he has a nice mustache. And I always say, you're right. <laughs> but it's a whole beard. <laughs> <laughs> but he does have a nice beard. He gets compliments on it all the time. <laughs> I would also add a comment that I did not screenshot and it is a dumb racist comment. Um, oh, we've gotten a lot of those. Yeah, we have. Yeah. Um, but we delete them to preserve the nature the of the community, right? Yes. Positivity. Positivity. <laughs> um, but this one guy said, um, oh, wow, what a beautiful relationship. I really applaud you all. Um, happy for you, but white women isn't no, my thing. No, WW. Yeah, WW isn't my thing. First of all, it's not white women. It is Angela, right? Thank you. It is the person that I love. And... Um, they're just small-minded people out in the world that don't understand that love supersedes what it is that we that we carry as an external color. Mm -hmm. um, and so nothing can nothing is more powerful than the baby. Baby, WW meant Wonder Woman. <laughs> <laughs> is that what you mean? That's what he meant. Yeah. Oh okay. well, thank you. <laughs> also, you're not a racist. Okay. <laughs> Wonder Woman aren't his thing. That's what it is. Yeah. yeah. He, he, he must have seen you. He, run, <laughs> he must have seen you run around that track. That's what he wants saying. an average woman. Yeah, yeah, that's what he wants. Anyway. All right. So fun questions. We love your questions. Bring more comments, questions, and they don't all have to be serious. But we're here for you to help you keep healing, to give you hope, and to help you find the love that you've always dreamed of. Yes, we really appreciate it. Our goal is to start doing live video live streams and start engaging with you more. We'll definitely let you know when that will be. So until next time, keep healing, keep loving, and hold hope. We're here to discuss Q&A. Talk about Q&A. Are we? Yes. <laughs> Are we just talking about But it wasn't until I, beginning of this 